Hey, what's up guys? So you know it's best here. I just got done watching Apple's WWDC keynote this year. This is where they show off all the latest software updates and new products they're going to be releasing. This is our kind of our first look at some of those things. And I'm going to be having a separate recap video for everything they talked about at this keynote. That's going to be a way longer video, but this video is just going to be for iOS 7, which is really the star of the show. Now, iOS 7 is going to be getting a brand new look, as you can see from this video right now. It looks totally different, but still familiar as well. Now, they have redesigned all the icons for all the different applications at least the the stock applications that come installed on your iPhone and also little touches like the dock and the keyboard are going to be a little bit transparent so now when you're doing certain things you can actually see what's going on in the background a little bit it just really adds another level of depth and also speaking of depth iOS 7 will now be motion sensing so we are moving your phone you can see the icons and the wallpaper kind of moving with you and flowing with you uh, so it's gonna have a unique type of feeling with your phone now we are gonna be moving it now I don't know how practical this is going to be but it did look pretty cool and it also seems like a lot of aspects of the OS are going to be more connected with each other. Like if you have a red wallpaper or a blue wallpaper, uh, when you go to your lock screen, you're going to see the numbers and the text uh, actually respond to that particular color of your wallpaper, which is a nice effect. And so just from the design aspect of iOS 7, it does seem like Apple achieved their goal of trying to make the, the OS feel different, but also feel familiar at the same time. So when you do go to pick up a device that is running iOS 7, you're probably not going to need to read a manual to use it again, uh, but it's going to still be something that's going to be a lot fresher than what we've seen over the past few years with iOS. Now, I mentioned that the stock icons are getting updates, but the stock applications are updated themselves as well to, to incorporate this new look. And you look at the weather's application has a different type of format. It has different weather effects when it's raining and things like that. Now, we've seen that on other platforms already, but it's nice that they are adding that to that. Then the messages and mail application are going to be getting this new look and also some new gestures as well. So you can swipe from left to right to go between looking at a single message or all your different messages or emails. Then in the email app, if you do swipe over on a particular email, you can now have an option option to just delete it or you can have a little section there that has more options that you'll be able to do with that particular email. And also photos was getting a slight update where now you can have multiple pages in one particular photo. So now you can keep hundreds of certain applications in one particular photo instead of having to have, you know, 20 different folders uh, for games and things like that. And now the notification center is going to be broken down in three different sections. It's going to have an all section, which is going to be for everything, all notifications from your apps and your phone calls that you miss and things like that. Uh, then also I'll have a miss section, which I'm thinking is just going to be for messages and phone calls. And then it also is going to have a today section, which will show you um, um, updates for your calendar for just today or birthdays for your friends or your stock market updates for today and that section. Now you still may notice that the notification center doesn't have any controls to control your brightness or turn Bluetooth on and off that we were thinking is going to be coming to it, but they are adding that to a brand new section of iOS 7 called Control Center. And so no matter what you're doing in iOS 7, you can swipe up from the bottom to access the Control Center, and now you can turn your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on and off, activate uh, the Do Not Disturb mode, you can adjust your brightness, and you have access to your media controls, and then you'll also be able to adjust AirPlay and also the new AirDrop mode, which I'm about to talk about right now. Now AirDrop is kind of Apple's answer to all the different NFC capabilities that you find in devices like the Samsung Galaxy S4 where you can bump the share information and context and stuff like that and pictures and videos uh, but now AirDrop which you've seen on the Mac OS 10 platform is now coming to iOS and so when you're using an app that supports AirDrop you can now pull that up and it'll show you their share seat is what Apple calling it and it's going to show you all your different friends that are going to be close by to you now they didn't really talk about how close your friends have to be uh, but they're going to have to be close it doesn't look like it's going to be just worldwide you can do this but you'll be able to share a picture or a document or something with them very easily and you can tap on multiple friends at once if you want to do that. Now speaking real quick on multitasking, in iOS 7 all apps will be compatible with multitasking so every single app can work with it and also it's going to have intelligent multitasking where it's going to help you save on battery life and it's going to be opportunistic for when it's going to be pushing updates to your phone so it's going to wait for you to, to wake up your phone while you're using it at full power to go and start doing an update in particular times and also too if, if it's easier in a, an area that has really bad cell reception it may not do particular updates uh, in that time and it'll wait for you to get into a good area then go and start doing those updates. And now onto the camera application, which is a little bit simpler. You can now swipe between your different camera modes. So you can swipe between your video mode and swipe to the left to get to your just your regular camera mode. And then you have a crop mode where the image is going to be cropped. And then also you have your panel mode is going to be used for your panoramic pictures. And Apple has also thrown in filters now for when you are taking still pictures. You can add particular filters to your image to kind of spice them up a little bit.
And then from the camera app to the photos app, it has a totally new look and function as well. Cause now it can group your pictures together um, by location. So if you have location enabled, uh, now you can see that you took a lot of pictures by your home, or a lot of pictures by your kid at school or at Six Flags, and it just kind of groups them all together for you. And you can just go from groups of locations to certain countries and also all the way out to years. And you can browse through those photos from 2011 or 2012 and 2013. And now you can even scrub through those photos when you're zoomed all the way out, just put your finger on that particular album I guess and now you can just uh, move your finger scrub through them to find the right picture release and it'll show you that picture and then once you pick your favorite photo you can now use the new shared photo streams and you can share this photo with other people like your friends and family and now they can also share into that stream as well and they can add their own particular content and now you can also share videos too and what would be a talk about iOS if we didn't mention Siri? Siri now has a fresh updated look alongside everything else in iOS 7. When you're talking to it at the bottom now, you'll see sound waves moving. But now Siri is not just a girl anymore. Siri is now a boy. So it's also going to have a male voice option. You can hear it right now. And you can also choose a male voice. Hi, Eddie. What can I do for you? And we've got high quality. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's the voice of dude Siri, but I'm thinking I'm going to keep Siri as is in her female voice. I just like when she talks to me when I'm in bed and waking up. Anyway, but well, that's the, uh, the new voice options in Siri. But now Siri is also going to be a little bit smarter. You can now tell her or him um, to turn down the brightness of your screen or to turn Bluetooth on and off and things like that. And now with the fact that Siri can be integrated in more applications like Twitter, you can now ask Siri what is a particular person saying, like Charlie and Michelle G. What are they saying? And they posted something on Twitter recently. Oh, go ahead and show me that. And now Siri is also a part of the new Apple initiative to get iOS in the car. So Apple's going to be working with other car manufacturers to bring iOS into the screen that may be already pre-installed into a particular car. And so now you'll be able to access uh, maps, iOS maps, even though I may prefer Google maps. Uh, but now you'll also be able to access Siri to tell her to send a text message and things like that. And your music and different stuff will be now incorporated into your particular car. And now there are a couple new features coming to the App Store on iOS. Now you'll be able to, based on your location, be able to find popular apps that have been downloaded near you. So now say if I go to the Cardinals game here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis, uh, I'll pull this up now. It'll probably show me apps like StubHub or the MLB app or Foursquare and things like that. And now probably the most important feature of them all is that applications will now download automatically. So just like in Android, your apps can just download. You don't have to worry about clicking in them or anything like that. So hopefully it's going to get rid of that red bubble on the App Store icon on permanently forever. And now onto the music application, which is going to be getting a new look as well, just like everything else I've been talking about today. Uh, but you also have access to all your music, TV shows, and movies that are in the cloud. And then the one new feature in the music app is one thing that has been talked about for a while now. This is iTunes Radio. So it's looking to take on Pandora and everybody else out there like Spotify. And so this is basically going to be just like all of them. Now you can create certain playlists uh, with your favorite artists and it'll play certain songs from that particular person and other people that are similar to them. Uh, but now you can also choose to have um, that song never play again. So say you are in a playlist you don't like that song you can choose to have it never play again or you can have that save as a favorite and so itunes radio is going to be coming to ios and the mac and it's going to be ad supported but absolutely free but if you want to get rid of the ads you can simply join itunes match or if you're already a member of itunes match you'll be totally ad free and so the last thing they talked about was this new activation lock. So now say somebody steals your iPhone, which is iPhone is a very popular item to steal. And so somebody steals your iPhone. Um, now you can completely erase that phone just like normal with find my iPhone and you can lock it and have somebody call you if they do find it. But now you can activation lock it. So now even they completely erase the phone, like get rid of all the, the stuff on there and reinstall iOS. Um, they still won't be able to activate that phone with this new activation lock if they don't know your credentials. So that's one thing to know um, It's going to be really good to kind of thwart off uh, people trying to steal high phones but hopefully uh, the these watch this keynote as well so they know this new feature and so of course these are just the big features that are coming in ios 7 there's a ton of new features like facetime audio only calls now it will just be the audio no video they have notification sync so now if you get rid of a notification on your iphone it'll get rid of that notification on your your tablet and also on your mac as well we've seen this at another conference recently as well uh, then also too i'll have uh, phone or messaging or facetime blocking so you'll be able to block a particular person from calling you or just block them from messaging you so if you have a stalker or something like that you can now have more features to block them 
And so when can you get your hands on iOS 7? Well, you can get it today if you are a developer with Apple or part of their developers program, which costs 100 bucks a year. Now, most people aren't gonna do that, so you'll be able to get iOS in the fall. And so just my quick opinion, guys, on iOS 7, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of customization features that a lot of people really wanted um, with this new platform, but it does look a lot different. It does look fresher and it has uh, some cool features to it that is going to make it a little bit unique and just make it feel like a brand new phone, but also feel very familiar, uh, which Apple has basically said that's their goal with this new version of iOS 7. So anyway, guys, I'll have my full recap of everything Apple talked about at this WWDC keynote coming up here very soon. Also, I have my hands-on video of iOS 7 when I'm able to get it downloaded onto my phone, so stay tuned for that. Please leave a comment down below what you think about all this new stuff going on with iOS 7. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.